Kate Middleton's pregnancy was a concern for Prince William as details that would normally be shielded from the public were not hidden like other royal babies. The royal family welcomed yet another addition to the firm after Meghan Markle and Prince Harry confirmed their second child, Lilibet Diana, has been born. The newborn is the third royal baby to be born this year. Princess Eugenie had her son August Philip, and Zara Tyndall also had her first boy Lucas. Eugenie's sister Princess Beatrice also announced she is pregnant with her first child. To make what promises to be an incredible 2021 for royal children in the firm, all of the babies will be great-grandchildren of the Queen and Prince Philip. And among the most prominent of the youngsters is no doubt Prince George, who will one day inherit the throne. But George's birth was far from routine, and actually left William concerned for Kate, who had been having difficulties during her pregnancy. Historian Robert Lacey spoke in 2012, months before George arrived the next year. As it emerged that Kate was pregnant but suffering with intense bouts of morning sickness. Kate was forced into hospital as a result, and in a bid to ensure people were informed as to why the Duchess of Cambridge was there. Buckingham Palace confirmed she was pregnant, the revelation came despite her not being past the usual three-month threshold to which expectant mothers normally confirm their news. Mr. Lacey said this would lead the public to see a very ordinary pregnancy, a very open pregnancy. He continued, already the details of what's happening to Kate are not being hidden as would have been the case in the past. And we're seeing the concern of a very modern husband, William, going to see her in the hospital every day. William's more modern approach to fatherhood was in stark contrast to his ancestors. Mr. Lacey noted, particularly his father Prince Charles, and grandfather Prince Philip. Speaking on Good Morning America, Mr. Lacey added, when Charles was born, Prince Philip played squash here at the palace. When Prince William was born, Prince Charles went off and played polo, first think we're getting to see the first royal birth where the father himself is present at the birth and sees his new child come into the world. The condition Kate endured was hyperemesis gravidarum. An acute morning sickness which requires supplementary hydration and nutrients. A report by ABC before she gave birth to George suggested that it is a condition associated with those having twins. The Stanford Children's Health says on its website that it is also more common in women with migraines. It added, women with a family history of the condition or who had the condition in a past pregnancy are more likely to have it with future pregnancies. With question marks raised over whether Kate would indeed have twins, Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, was quizzed over who the heir to the throne would be in such a situation. She said, well it would really be a case of which child appeared first, whether it's male or female, the firstborn will be in line to the throne. It's that simple, George was born in 2013 in London's St. Mary's Hospital's Lindo Wing. The same space William and his brother Prince Harry were welcomed into the world. Kate and William would also go on to have Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, both in the London Hospital. Last year, the Duchess opened up on life as a mother to royal children, as well as the future heir to the throne. She told Happy Baby, Happy Mum that she believed all mothers suffer from mum guilt. And that anyone who doesn't as a mother is lying, the royal added, there's such a pull, but I am such a hands-on mum, and whatever you're doing you want to make sure you're doing the uttermost best job you can for your children. 